All right, viewfinder station is on the very back table. It's set up with a big cutting mat because we're using X-Acto knives. Do not cut on the tabletops. There's little three by five cards back there. There's a plastic cup that has um, little transparency pieces with the center cut out. And it says, do not cut, trace me. So that means you're tracing with a pen or a pencil, not the X-Acto knife. If you trace with the X-Acto knife, it's called cutting. And then you ruin my little transparency for everybody. In the back there is, I put like one mechanical pencil back there and two X-Acto knives. So two people can do this at once. Um, if the pencil disappears, the pencil disappears. All right. So I'm going to trace the inside. Okay. Then you want to be aware of where your fingers are. So I always put my fingers off to the side and cut towards myself. And you, just like when you guys cut your mats, you want to cut a little bit above the line, a little bit below. So my fingers are off to the side. Remember that the angled side of the blade needs to face down and you're slicing with the tip of the blade. So using the whole tip of the blade. Let me scoot this over a little bit. Okay, so I would do two sides at once with medium pressure. And I would turn it. Notice my fingers are totally off to the side, not in the pathway of cutting. Okay. Where does the centers go? Trash. Not just left on the table for someone else called Miss Kramer to pick up. In the trash. Okay. So then because your grid is one inch, now we have a viewfinder that's one inch. Except... For some of those squares, because you guys are a little bit smaller in these, some of you, because you want a lot of negative space, some of those squares are going to need to be further divided in order to draw with accurate proportion. All right, so I would um, do this next step to help with that. So when you return the exact knife, you need blade facing down. In the back, there's a little container that has these smaller transparency grids. And there's a roll of blue tape back there. And you just need two little pieces of blue tape. Like just one piece, rip it in half. And so then you're going to put the transparency piece over your viewfinder opening. Tape it. So now this divides your box in half. And so your box will be divided an inch by an inch. And so for the more difficult boxes, we are gonna further divide those boxes into fourths. So then you can focus on proportion and what you see in those fourths. You could also give yourself some further um, proportion markings where it's like, if this would be halfway, half of halfway, this would be halfway in the whole box, half of halfway, Halfway. Half of halfway. So that would give you some um, further markings. I do want you guys to put your name in period. In case they end up on the floor, we know who it goes back to. Hopefully it's bigger. You won't lose it as easily. All right, so for drawing for tomorrow, you want to start out with like your contour outline, basic contour outlines, definitely draw the hands, etc. Don't draw any facial features. We're going to have a demonstration for that. Um, and then if you have time tomorrow, you can start kind of using angles and blocking in to shapes and, and giving yourself some guideline spacing for your symbolic imagery that's going to happen in the negative space.